Blue Ventures is dedicated to advancing a simple but radical concept that protecting the ocean can go hand in hand with improving livelihoods. Taking less can lead to having more. From Blue Ventures, Alistair Harris. Thank you all. Ten days ago, I was traveling between two fishing villages bordering the Mozambique Channel, two very different communities. One sits alongside a vast coral reef, the other in the heart of a muddy mangrove forest. Their fishermen and women catch very different species, but both share an intimate dependence on the sea for food, for income, their very cultural identity. In both villages, there's no alternative to fishing, and people are struggling to find enough fish to survive. The nomadic Vezu people that live on this coast are master seafarers, and they see and feel the declining fisheries from one day to the next. They journey, as I did, by dugout canoe, often traveling for more than a 1,000 kilometers in open canoes in search of viable fish stocks. Living in shelters on isolated sandbanks dozens of miles out to sea with no fresh water, no shelter from tropical storms, no rights to the resources on which they depend. We call these people small-scale fishers. But the only thing that's small about them is the size of their boats. With more than a billion people living around our tropical coasts and hundreds of millions depending on fisheries like these for survival, perhaps we need to recognize that in reality, these are the world's not so small scale fishers. <laughs> a decade ago, witnessing this human struggle alongside a biodiversity crisis, my work as a biologist felt disconnected from the drivers of the changes I was documenting. What do the wonders of biodiversity mean to a family living on the front lines of climate change, to a family struggling with the grim reality of collapsing fisheries? Out there, conservation's about people, their daily needs, the incentives to change fishing for the better, and their motivations for enduring the opportunity cost of protecting nature. It's these incentives and motivations that must become our currency as conservationists. Finding truly replicable models to motivate real change must be our goal. Because when we get this right, when we make sustainable fisheries make real sense to this not so small scale sector, we have a hope of putting conservation in the hands of those with the greatest interest in its success. And this is exactly what those two villages have accomplished. Their models for managing their seas have gone viral, and today over 10% of their country's seabed now falls within community-owned conservation areas, with other countries replicating these models across the Indian Ocean. This is totally reimagining the way we think about marine protection. There's something that engages rather than alienates, meaning that it can be taken to scale and that it can sustain itself. We don't have long to fix the state of our tropical seas, this award will help Blue Ventures engage with communities in places we've never reached before, sharing our experiences with new communities across the Indo-Pacific and accelerating the opportunity to make fishing sustainable now and for years to come. Thank you all. <laughs>